cool it is to have a grandfather who is so wealthy that money is all he has left. In their eyes, there is no issue that money can't solve. At this moment, there are a total of 2 million reinforcements on this void battleship. Among these 2 million reinforcements, 200,000 come from the Holy Demon Domain, but the other 1,800,000 come from the wealthy god Shuafugue. After understanding the situation at the Meteor Flame battlefield and learning that they were short of people, Shuafugue made a sweeping gesture, instructing his granddaughter to take his trusted guards into battle. At that time, Luo Feng Yuan had quietly mumbled to Zi Ruoyan, Could your grandfather have misunderstood something? We are going to war, not to a fight. Zi Ruoyan also felt that her grandfather might have oversimplified things, until she saw the assembly of 1,800,000 fully armed guardians, whose average realm was above the Tenth Order. Both girls were utterly bewildered, and even Bai Ching Zahog jumped up. What defines a wealthy god? Wealth that commands divine powers. Perhaps this is what it means. In that moment, Zi Ruoyan felt how wonderful it was to have such a grandfather. Meanwhile, on the other side, the entire royal family stood atop the city walls, gazing at the army gradually assembling in the distance. With Luo Taoyin's perception, the approaching martial spirit army numbered a full two million, while the defending soldiers amounted to merely 800,000. A demon warrior rushed over from the rear to report the situation. Commander-in-chief, the defensive line's formation has been fully activated. Luo Taoyin nodded, his figure slowly ascending, spiritual energy swirling in his throat, his voice booming across the skies above the defensive line. Ladies and gentlemen, the martial spirit army is upon us. In numbers unprecedented, this will be a fierce battle, but we cannot retreat. If we let the martial spirit army pass through the realm gate behind us, they will slaughter your families, seize your lands, they will destroy everything, consuming all that they see into their domain. We must hold the formation barrier, focus on entangling the enemy, for ourselves, for our families, and for our descendants. Prepare for battle. However, the formation of the opposing martial spirit army suddenly split open, making way for something. Huge ballisti and war chariots were rolled out, and Luo Tao Yin, staring at the distance at those massive ballisti, felt a sense of strangeness. What use could siege crossbows have in a war of this caliber? But the next second, Luo Tao Yin's pupils constricted, as he watched Blood Rune Clan members step onto the battlefield, slice open their wrists over the war chariots, their blood dripping into the grooves of the massive crossbows. A strange power was gathering on these giant ballisti, and to his horror, the Blood Rune Clan were being drained dry by the war chariots, falling lifeless, with a heavy slam of a war hammer onto the chariot's formation nexus. Spears from the giant ballisti, infused with a bizarre power, turned into blood-red meteors streaking across the sky, hammering towards the frontline defensive formation. Following an explosion, several large holes were corroded in the defensive formation, and Luo Tao Yen, with a look of shock, couldn't help but exclaim, This is bad. Their contraption can actually counteract the formation. Don't underestimate this emperor. Luo Tao Yen suddenly unleashed the demonic energy within him, his purple holy demon flame sweeping forward. The substantial holy demon flame was like a purple tide, spreading directly along the defensive barrier. In an instant, the previously corroded formation was restored to its original state. It seemed safe now, and he could retract the holy demon flame, but something was amiss. He could not control the holy demon flame within him. He could only watch helplessly as the front defensive barrier began to absorb his demonic energy. Under the astonished gaze of all, the holy demon flame and the gathered spiritual energy from heaven and earth fused, transforming into massive purple flame spears, almost identical to the formation-breaking crossbow bolt seen before. The next second, countless purple flame spears shot towards the martial spirit army. Dodge! The martial spirit commander urgently ordered a retreat, but it was too late. By then, the purple flame spears had descended from the sky, smashing hard onto the giant ballisti. The spiritual energy condensed within the spear was extremely unstable, exploding into a spiritual energy storm. Some of the martial spirit army soldiers who couldn't escape in time were burned alive by the holy demon flame. Chi Ding Swan bit his teeth in frustration. Damn it, the formation breaking ballista has been destroyed. It was a key tool for breaking formations. Now, Chi Ding Swan did not dare to make a rash decision, just silently waiting, ordering a hundred thousand of the vanguard to probe an attack first. And immediately, a hundred thousand of the vanguard from the martial spirit army were dispatched, charging forward. In the hidden illusionary formation behind the martial spirit army, Shua Rui's expression was changing unpredictably. Indeed, someone had left their mark. Those previously guarding defensive formations were clearly self-condensing flame spears. Shua Rui suddenly let out a roar, conjuring a blood-red giant spear and hurling it towards Luo Tao Yin. A violent boom erupted in front of the defensive barrier, followed by intense fluctuations within the formation. The force of heaven and earth that was gathered turned into a spiritual energy force even more terrifying than before and flew back. Indeed, long distance, high intensity attacks were ineffective. Shua Rui withdrew his hand, his expression becoming even more solemn. Beside him, Zhang Keiji frowned. My lord, I feel that the repulsion force of the formation is not that strong. Why not continue to attack the barrier with your long-range method? My attack's strength was absorbed by 20%, and the remaining 80% 
80% was transformed. The gathered spiritual energy repelled back to us. As one side weakens, the other grows, continuing with long-distance attrition. The defensive formation will only become stronger. Zhang Keiji was stunned. This defensive formation left by the Emperor of Man forces one to engage in close combat for siege. Convenient for the defending soldiers to maneuver near the barrier. Just attacking the enemy would suffice. So it seems. Indeed, it's a good place for training troops. My lord, shall we let our troops be used as training targets by the defending army? Don't worry. According to the intelligence reports, the reinforcements called by Bai Qing will arrive in about 10 hours. Give me a full-on siege. Following Shuo Rui's command, all of the martial spirit army charged like madmen. Figures dashed and leapt into the air. And in an instant, dense as torrential rain, the martial spirit army descended upon the barrier that was calm like the surface of a lake. The real battle began. Demonic flames reaching the sky. Atop the defense, Luo Tao Tian, who had been observing the battle, made his move. The vast purple holy demon flame surged like ocean waves, roaring in all directions. The bodies of the defending soldiers were enveloped by such purple holy demon flames, their aura enhanced. The clash of metal and battle cries echoed in the skies, and the melee commenced. Within the illusionary formation behind the martial spirit army, Shua Rui squinted his eyes. Ten more hours and your reinforcements will arrive. Don't be too scared to chase us out, Luo Tao Yin. At the same time, Zi Ruan, observing the distant Luo Feng Yuan, asked if she was nervous. Luo Feng Yuan turned around, shaking her head. Nervous? How could I be? It's too quiet before the battle. That's not like you, Zi Ruan said, also looking towards the horizon, then continued after a moment of silence. I understand how you feel. I was extremely happy when I saw my parents not long ago. Now, Luo Feng Yuan, you are about to see your own parents and elder sibling. It's natural to feel unsettled. What will you do when you meet again after such a long separation? Hearing this, Luo Feng Yuan clenched her fists with great excitement, indicating she would greet them very warmly. Zi Ruan thought she meant a warm embrace, but Luo Feng Yuan's next words left her speechless. Her teeth clenched as she said, not a warm embrace, but a passionate iron fist. I must give them a good beating. They are a bunch of despicable jerks. Even though we are family, they left me alone in the holy demon realm. Couldn't they have shared the burden? Zi Ruan covered her face and shook her head helplessly. What a battle maniac. Even at a crucial moment like a family reunion, you're thinking about fighting your own family. It's just like you. No brain. All brawn. Unbelievable. Suddenly, Luo Feng Yuan and Zi Ruan felt a violent fluctuation, and even the esteemed purple emperor who was cultivating in his room rushed out. Such a strong disturbance. What's going on? Bai Qing's figure appeared abruptly among them. This is the vibration of battle. It seems the defense line has already started the fight. Judging from the fluctuations, the entire defense force has joined this great battle. We need to move full speed ahead and get to the battlefield as soon as possible to provide support. At the same time, within the meteor flame battlefield, the defensive enchantments on the walls were pulsing with energy. Countless figures engaged in endless combat around the defensive barrier. The guards, shrouded in purple holy demon flames, clashed violently with the Blood Rune clan, wreathed in blazing red flames. On the walls of the defense point, Wu Xinxiu's voice was heavy. This will only lead to defeat sooner or later. Luo Tao Tian, with a grave expression, looked around and exhaled lightly. The fighting power of this martial spirit army is much stronger than any invading force we have encountered before. Whether it is the strength of individuals or the coordination between battle formations, it's at least 50% higher. This is far more difficult than we imagined. If it weren't for our holy demon flame, we might have already lost this battle. Ji Ding Xuan, watching Luo Tao Yan inside the barrier, curled his lips. Holy demon emperor Luo Tao Yan, your defeat is certain. Did you really think that having the holy demon clan's flame made you invincible? This enraged Luo Tao Yan, who clenched his teeth. He could no longer just defend from the back. It was time to fight the enemy head on. As Luo Tao Yan was about to join the fray, a huge crash sounded behind him. Everyone on the battlefield turned their heads in shock to see ships of the Void War Fleet tearing through space, approaching from afar. Luo Tao Yan, seeing the ships and a familiar figure burning with purple holy demon flames emerging, recognized his own daughter, Luo Feng Yuan. At that moment, Luo Feng Yuan on the deck let out a cold laugh. Finally found you, my dearest family. Then she suddenly charged down. Zi Ruan wanted to stop her, but was a step too late. It was over. Luo Feng Yuan had already begun the fight. Please don't let your passionate iron fists land on your own family. Luo Tao Yan only then realized his daughter's face was marked with anger. The burning holy demon flame wrapping around her right fist. Not good. There was a killing intent. Before he could react, Luo Feng Yuan's furious punch had already hit him squarely in the face. Although Luo Feng Yuan had unleashed her rage with the punch, she still controlled the strength and angle. The punch sent Luo Tao Yan flying diagonally, making intimate contact with the broad city wall surface, sliding far before coming to a stop. Beside him, Wu Xinxiu hadn't even recovered from the shock, when he too was struck firmly in the stomach by his own daughter's fist, and she flew out to collapse next to her husband. This scared Luo Feng Yuan's brothers and sisters witless, and they all had the same thought buzzing in their minds. Just don't hit us next. But how could Luo Feng Yuan 
comply with their wishes. At this moment, Luo Feng Yuan seemed to embody the war god. Men in the face, women in the stomach, each received a punch. Watching Luo Feng Yuan's actions from the Void Warship's deck, Zi Ruoyan's lips twitched slightly. I should have stopped her earlier, but it must be said, Luo Kao does have a system when it comes to hitting people. Men in the face, women in the stomach. At that moment, Luo Tao Yin and Wu Xinxiu flipped onto the ground, got up simultaneously. As they propped themselves up to stand, they saw Luo Feng Yuan quickly approaching them. Little Yuan, hold on before you strike. Listen to daddy's explanation. Luo Tao Yin hurriedly waved his hands, pleading, and Wu Xinxiu also followed suit. Little Yuan, let's talk about this later, alright? Now is not the time to continue fighting. Luo Feng Yuan, reaching her parents, didn't strike again, but instead embraced both her father and mother tightly in her arms. The couple were left speechless by Luo Feng Yuan's action. Father, mother, now it's my turn to protect you both. At this moment, the esteemed Purple Emperor greeted Luo Tao Yin. Big brother, it's been some time since we last met. Seeing the figure before him, Luo Tao Yin's face was filled with joy. He truly hadn't expected to witness the arrival of the esteemed Purple Emperor. Big brother, this is my daughter. The esteemed Purple Emperor looked at Luo Tao Yin, safe and sound, and heartily patted Zi Ruoyan's shoulder as he introduced her. So, this is your daughter. Luo Tao Yin was even more astonished looking at Zi Ruoyan before him. Zi Ruoyan, how could it be that she and his own daughter's spiritual energy were so in sync? Could it be that these two had obtained some opportunity? I should also try this with esteemed purple brother another day. The figure of Bai Ching also hurried over from a distance. Uncle Luo, are you alright? It was at this moment that everyone seemed to wake up from a dream. Right, wasn't Luo Tao Yin captured? How come he is here, safe and sound, as if nothing had happened? Our main purpose here was to rescue brother Luo. How is it that before we have even arrived, he has already managed to rescue himself, and wasn't captured by the enemy? Luo Tao Yin waved his hand and shook his head, his face showing a relieved expression. At that time, I was indeed captured, tied up, and detained in Pioneer Battle City. Fortunately, I was rescued from Pioneer Battle City by a strong human. Not even Zhang Buki was a match for that strong person. When I was locked in the formation, he could easily break the formation with just the broken blade of a spiritual artifact. Before leaving, I even swore brotherhood with that strong person. Esteemed Purple Brother, I must give you a proper introduction when the time comes. Upon hearing this, the expression on the esteemed Purple Emperor's face became somewhat strange, a bit flustered inside. Why did his own brother Luo's tail of being rescued sound so familiar to him? Wait a second, the heart of the esteemed Purple Emperor suddenly skipped a beat. He suddenly remembered when his son-in-law rescued him. It was done effortlessly with his bare hands. Suddenly, as if a bolt of lightning crossed his mind. Wait, could it be that the one who rescued my big brother was also my son-in-law? The esteemed Purple Emperor suddenly asked. Big brother, about when were you rescued? The question took Luo Tao Yin by surprise. It's been a while, more than two months. Why do you ask? The esteemed Purple Emperor covered his face. As expected, I was rescued not long ago, and given my good son-in-law's abilities, after rescuing big brother from Pioneer Battle City, he would have had ample time to then go to the mysterious Wealth Mountain Range to rescue me. Brother Luo, that sworn brother of yours, isn't his name. The esteemed Purple Emperor was about to speak, but was interrupted directly by his daughter beside him. Father, now is not the time for idle chatter. Luo Feng Yuan, are you ready? My scythe is eager to reap. As soon as these words were spoken, a violent roar suddenly erupted beside their ears. Come on, are your human and demon races nothing but turtles hiding behind barriers? As I see it, you lot should be called the Cowardly Clan. The Martial Spirit Army's words were filled with provocation. Hearing this, Zi Ruoyan's face turned frosty, filled with a murderous intent, and then with a wave of her large hand, everyone began to counterattack. The reinforcements on the Void Battleship, originally belonging to Shue Fugui's guard, took the lead in charging out. The guard carrying the huge shield exploded with speed and charged directly forward, followed by the spears in the hands of the guards behind the giant shield, shining with the light of condensed spiritual energy. Almost instantly, the Blood Rune Clan warriors who had just approached were directly shredded. In the rear formation, Shua Rui's expression changed. Where did this elite army come from? Zhang Keiji also cried out anxiously. This won't do. They have a significant number, and our first and second armies will be wiped clean. Shua Rui also clenched his teeth. It's not just that they're strong. The great of the spiritual artifacts these people are equipped with completely crushes ours. Just that huge shield alone, the value of a single shield, is at least equivalent to the total value of all the spiritual artifacts on 30 of our warriors. Who the hell has managed to muster this lot? Do they have more money than they know what to do with? Meanwhile, in the Holy Demon Domain, Shue Fugui sneezed in his sleep, lazily turned over, and continued to snore loudly. At this moment, Luo Feng Yuan, looking at Zi Ruoyan, asked, What exactly is your grandfather thinking? Calling such elite troops house guards? Zi Ruoyan didn't utter a word in response, just silently looking towards her mother, Shue Ruyan, seeing her daughter looking at her. Shue Ruyan just shrugged her shoulders and said, What are you looking at me for? There's nothing unusual about this. Your grandfather once managed a huge commerce guild. The guards frequently clashed with bandits. Their combat experience is naturally profound. Plus, he has 
his money. So of course he did whatever it took to make his guards stronger. It's just a matter of spending money. Besides, a battlefield of the Meteor Flame battlefield level is the least dangerous and weakest they've ever encountered. So it's normal for them to completely overpower the opposition. After Shuarian finished speaking, Lu Guixiang also chimed in. In your grandfather's guards, they have a nickname among outsiders. The Shue Slaughter Army. As Lu Guixiang's words fell, in the distance, the Martial Spirit Army, still retreating in midair, continued to be slaughtered by the guards. The battlefield was strewn with corpses. We can't wait any longer. This has already exceeded our original plans. Zhang Keiji spoke urgently to Shua Rui. The first and second armies have already lost nearly several hundred thousand in a short time. If this continues, we will be completely overwhelmed. Although the enemy's reinforcements are indeed formidable against our absolutely overwhelming numbers, their effectiveness won't be as good. As Shua Rui spoke, he suddenly waved his hand. In the vast illusion formation covering the third to the tenth armies, a total of seven million troops slowly cracked open. The two armies originally engaged with the guards also rapidly retreated. Everyone on the city walls, who had been quite relaxed until then, were also shocked by the scene before them. The land, originally empty, now revealed densely packed military formations, the sheer number of which was enough to make one's scalp tingle. There were so many that one couldn't see the end at a glance. It looks like we can't rely on your grandfather for everything. Old rules, don't stray too far. After Luo Feng Yuan and Zi Ruoyan finished speaking, the two of them took out their weapons, back to back. Empress Alliance, move out. The next second, a deafening roar suddenly emerged from the sky above, trembling the heavens and earth, echoing in all directions. A golden dragon, as if tangible, rose up, its roar rendering all the soldiers on the city walls and Shue Fugui's guards immune to the enemy's war cries. Then came another dragon roar, howling and resonating with the imperial aura previously emitted by Zi Ruan. A purple-black demon dragon spiraled up, hovering over the battlefield's defenses, imperial aura transforming into a dragon, as if tangible, such a powerful force of bloodline. Luo Tao Yen, witnessing this, was greatly shocked. After speaking, Luo Tao Yen turned to the esteemed purple emperor beside him and raised his eyebrows teasingly. Brother Z, this won't do. You've been so easily surpassed by your own daughter. That's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Hearing Luo Tao Yen's teasing words, the esteemed purple emperor smiled and retorted, the pot calling the kettle black. Your daughter has suppressed and extinguished your holy demon flame. The two men looked at each other, internally mocking one another. It's been a few years. Why has Luo become somewhat annoying? The old brother Z was never like this. This person before me is so irritating. Brother Xiao was always better. Just at that moment, another blue dragon ascended, its roar striking the souls of those present like the tolling of bells at dawn and dusk. The wills of the three empresses erupted, their powers intertwining perfectly. The degree of synergy was impeccable. Under the envelopment of the Empress' wills, everyone's combat abilities on the Meteor Flame battlefield were greatly enhanced. The slaughter on the Meteor Flame battlefield once again unfolded, with Lu Guixiang reaping the martial spirit army soldiers around her mercilessly, like a god of war. You scum, seeking death. Luo Feng Yuan, from behind, watching the figure charging ahead, excitedly shouted to Zi Ruoyan, your grandmother is really something. Suddenly, a hearty laugh rang out from not too far away. Ha ha ha, is this the extent of your skills? Luo Feng Yuan and Bai Qing followed the sound and looked over, their eyes widening and mouths gaping in surprise. Her mother is even more interesting. They saw a woman with a high ponytail, standing tall with a long spear amidst surging giant waves. It was none other than Zi Ruoyan's mother, Shuo Ruyan. A vast ocean had appeared out of nowhere on the battlefield, with Shuo Ruyan standing amid these waves, sweeping up the martial spirit army soldiers around her. Luo Feng Yuan's eyes sparkled as he held his giant scythe and charged forward, excitedly shouting, Your mom is so cool too, I want to join them. Zi Ruoyan, seeing Luo Feng Yuan's excited demeanor, covered her face and shook her head helplessly. When Zi Ruoyan turned her head to look at Bai Qing, she noticed that Bai Qing was staring straight at her grandmother and mother. They're both such idiots. Why do you act like you're their granddaughter and daughter? Zi Ruoyan sighed. In another part of the battlefield, the esteemed purple emperor looked towards Zi Ruoyan and the others, a bit speechless. Why does this scene seem a bit off? Wife, why are you so close with our niece? Your daughter is over there. Just then, the esteemed purple emperor suddenly saw his sister-in-law, Wu Xinxiu, looking in Luo Feng Yuan's direction with an expression that seemed somewhat jealous. The esteemed purple emperor couldn't help but scratch his face in embarrassment. This situation is really awkward. On the other side, Zhang Keiji turned to Shua Rui and asked, My lord, how much longer do you plan to wait before you take action? Beneath Shua Rui, golden array patterns slowly emerged. Zhang Keiji's expression changed upon seeing this. Is there some kind of decisive formation beneath the ground? There's a teleportation array down here. It can take us straight to Hidden Spirit. When the time comes, there'll be much we can do. Zhang Keiji's voice trembled as he looked at Shua Rui. My lord, are you going to abandon them all? This is merely a substitution. Exchanging the lives of the Tri-Clan generals for our survival. Hearing Shua Rui's words, Zhang Keiji took a deep breath and then suddenly spoke up. My lord, the task of infiltrating Hidden Spirit is your 
yours to bear, Shua Rui, waiting for the array to activate, paused at Zhang Keiji's words. What do you mean? Since the Lord wishes to infiltrate hidden spirit, one must do so without alerting the spirits. The vast martial spirit army needs someone to command. Otherwise, after the slaughter, they will become suspicious. I'll stay behind to make my presence known. Only then will this plan be perfect. Zhang Keiji's words caused Shua Rui to frown and shake his head slightly. There's no need for that. I have already made preparations to leave traces. They will only think that the one commanding has fled in advance. Shua Rui frowned. I do not wish to flee. It is not truly fleeing. To abandon our kind. To sacrifice these soldiers in battle and infiltrate hidden spirit. How is that different from fleeing? Zhang Keiji suddenly turned back. So you intend to go and make a fearless sacrifice? I am a person of the Blood Rune clan. Meant to fight alongside the soldiers on the battlefield. Not to run away. Your decision is not wrong. But I, Zhang Keiji, will not abandon these warriors. I will fight with them to the very end. Before the array activated, Shua Rui issued his final command. From this moment on, the highest command of Meteor Flame Battlefield is yours, Zhang Keiji. That, Shua Rui brought his hands together and his blood surged out, igniting in midair and infusing towards Zhang Keiji in front. Zhang Keiji could feel a significant boost in his battle strength. He turned back in astonishment to look at the somewhat pale Shua Rui. My lord, you, go and fight. Let them witness just how valiant the warriors of the tri blood lineage really are. For hidden marshal, Shua Rui stood up straight and consumed a medicinal pill. Zhang Keiji grinned ferociously and clenched his fists tightly. The fully ignited Zhang Keiji leaped towards the sky, his fighting spirit erupting like a torrent. In an instant, the sky above the battlefield seemed to blaze with a fiery red sun. I am Zhang Keiji, the command leader of the Meteor Flame Battlefield Martial Spirit. With a roar full of battle intent, Zhang Keiji, engulfed in bright red flames, forcefully entered the battlefield. The aerial ocean of Shua Ruyin was instantly evaporated. His sudden appearance interrupted Luo Feng Yuan and the others, who were slaughtering the Blood Rune clan, because their Empress Wu was repelled by this terrifying fighting spirit. This must be the enemy's hidden powerhouse. His presence is too terrifying, and just with a single landing, he can blast away everyone present. His true strength must be even more formidable. Who cares if he's the hidden powerhouse? Let's fight first. As Luo Tao Yen finished speaking, the purple holy demon flame transformed into a crescent blade in midair, slashing towards Zhang Keiji. Zhang Keiji, originally charging into battle, suddenly changed his expression and quickly retreated to avoid it, clearly feeling the speed at which the spiritual energy within his body dissipated while immersed in the sea of holy demon flames. He could withstand it, but it was unnecessary. Just as Zhang Keiji rose up, elevating his figure to leave the sea of holy demon flames, an imposing imperial aura suddenly emerged above, and when he looked up, a golden seal appeared in the sky, the human emperor's seal. How do you have this? With the sound echoing across the battlefield, the ascendant Zhang Keiji was forcibly pressed back down, crashing into the expanse of holy demon flames. Luo Tao Yen, wielding a giant scythe, appeared at the forefront of the battlefield. You continue, we've got this side. The voice of esteemed purple emperor also followed. Right, this guy is strong, but he can't turn the tide against us. Zhang Keiji roared and charged at them again. Let's see if you can keep me here. But he was blocked by Luo Tao Yen's holy demon flame. Under the giant tornado of holy demon flames, the entire battlefield was illuminated by the purple flames, and the spiritual energy of heaven and earth was constantly burning. Zhang Keiji gritted his teeth. He knew holy demon emperor Luo Tao Yen was very troublesome, but he didn't know what secret technique he used, as the demonic energy in his body seemed inexhaustible. Just then, the human emperor's seal suddenly burst forth, smashing fiercely into his face. The sound of bones shattering rang out. Zhang Keiji cried out in pain as he was smashed and sent flying. When he stabilized his form, the terrifying healing power within his body fused his shattered bones back together. Seeing this, the esteemed purple emperor could not help but exclaim, This guy's recovery is too frightening. Luo Tao Yen nodded. The Blood Rune clan has always been like this. His attacks are stronger. Be a bit more careful. It's fine. I want to see if he recovers faster or my throws are faster. I don't believe I can't smash him to death. A steamed purple emperor, swinging the human emperor seal, charged over. On the other side, Shua Rui cast a silent glance at Zhang Keiji, who was still valiantly resisting, before he left. The array had already been activated, and Shua Rui swore to himself that one day, he would kill a steamed purple emperor, seize the human emperor seal, and avenge Zhang Keiji and the fallen of the Blood Rune clan. What he didn't expect was that as soon as he passed through the array into the holy demon realm, he saw Xiao Tian busy merging worlds, which scared him terribly. He quickly rubbed his eyes, and when he opened them again, the person had disappeared. The next second, a hand landed on his shoulder, and Xiao Tian's voice suddenly came from beside his ear. The sudden turn of events made Shua Rui shiver all over. Why are you sneaking around watching me? Shua Rui trembled and stammered in response. Weren't you just over there, holding up the world? When did you get next to me? After saying that, a chill ran down his spine and cold sweat seeped from his forehead. He hadn't noticed when the other had come close to him. It's over. My life is over. How did I encounter such a strong being right after coming out of the teleportation array? Who can ignore the chaos of the void and merge two world realms together? 
Xiao Tian, with a full head of question marks, asked, Why are you so afraid of seeing me for the first time? Something's not right. There's definitely something very off. Is it because you have a guilty conscience? How could that be? It's our first meeting. I was just attracted by your feat of merging the worlds of two realms, and wanted to observe you up close. While Shuarui spoke, he slowly retreated, thinking to divert his attention and take the opportunity to escape. Perfect. Just as he was about to retreat to the array, Xiao Tian suddenly grabbed his shoulder. You look both familiar and strange, quite like a mix between the Blood Rune clan and the Blood Grudge clan. Hearing this, Shuarui was speechless. Such a formidable being doesn't know my race. Our Blood Surge clan is the leader of the three bloodlines, but Xiao Tian ignored his indignation, planning to take him to the Empress Domain to show to Di Xinlu who should recognize what race this bald guy is. System, pause the fusion. I need to interrogate this suspicious fellow first. Okay, master. At this moment, in the Empress Domain, Hua Kai Tu was observing the state of the flower divine ancient tree and reminding Di Xinlu not to over-nurture it to death. Di Xinlu, engrossed in his work, nodded in agreement that he wouldn't. As the two conversed, Xiao Tian suddenly descended from the sky. Seeing Xiao Tian land, the two hurried forward to greet him, one calling him Xiao Elder and the other master. Shua Rui, held in tow, was astonished by the flower divine ancient tree, and his pupils shrank when he saw the figure underneath the tree applying fertilizer. The ancient god race. It's actually the ancient god race, a transcendent species. The ancient and noble beings are actually calling him master. What exactly is Xiao Tian's identity? Xiao Tian, grasping him, brought him in front of Di Xin Lu and questioned, help me see what race this guy is. Is he a mix of the Blood Rune clan and the Blood Grudge clan? This annoyed the bald-headed man, cursing in his heart at Xiao Tian's stupidity. Do you think I'm a piece of merchandise to be shown around at will? This is a great insult. Di Xin Lu recognized at a glance that the bald-headed man was not a mix of the two clans, but from the Blood Surge clan. What race is the Blood Surge clan? I've never heard of it. Facing Xiao Tian's inquiry, Di Xin Lu explained, the Blood Surge clan, along with the Blood Rune clan and the Blood Grudge clan, are collectively referred to as the Three Blood Lineages. The Blood Surge clan is the most formidable among them, capable of suppressing both the Blood Rune clan and the Blood Grudge clan. Di Xin Lu asked Shuarui, away, but shouldn't you be at the more critical meteor flame battlefield right now, overseeing the battle situation? Why are you here? Hearing this, Xiao Tian looked towards Di Xin Lu, the critical meteor flame battlefield. Di Xin Lu nodded and explained to Xiao Tian, indeed, the Blood Surge clan isn't considered a weak race within the Martial Spirit Army, and with this young Blood Surge clan genius, he should be part of the higher echelons of the Martial Spirit Army. It would make sense for him to be stationed at the higher level meteor flame battlefield. Xiao Tian told Di Xin Lu about the situation he encountered. Di Xin Lu listened with some surprise, looking at the bald man and clicking his tongue in wonder. From this perspective, this is truly a stunning and brilliant individual. A tenth level master of the spatial realm is quite rare indeed. Master, he might have come from a very high level meteor flame battlefield, using the spatial layer to infiltrate our side. A strange gleam appeared in Xiao Tian's eyes as he stared at the bald man. Infiltrated from a higher level meteor flame battlefield? Since he is from a higher level meteor flame battlefield, and has used his abilities to sneak into this remote place, and coincidentally near me. It looks like there might be some terrifying conspiracy behind you. I knew this guy was up to no good. Definitely here to do me harm. The bald man, feeling the intense gaze, suddenly felt a chill down his spine. Why does it feel like he's looking at me as if I'm a dead man? Is it my imagination? Speak. Does the Martial Spirit Army know about the situation in the mysterious Wealth Mountain region? So they sent you to spy on me and possibly ambush me? Xiao Tian's string of analysis left both Di Xin Lu and Hua Kai Tu somewhat baffled. Isn't that a bit much? Why do they feel that this Blood Surge clan genius just happened to have the misfortune of bumping into you, the bald man, sweating profusely, explained. I don't know you at all, but Xiao Tian's paranoia kicked in. He simply didn't believe the bald man's words. How dare you argue back? If you don't know me, why were you secretly peeping at me in the void? If you're innocent, why didn't you explain yourself or make it clear when I caught you, and instead looked at me with a guilty conscience? Isn't that the very picture of a guilty thief? Shua Rui, the one being held, was dumbfounded. I came because the battlefield I was on was about to be lost, and I simply fled. There was absolutely no plan. Your battlefield. So, you're saying the meteor flame battlefield you left is hiding some secret? Hearing this, the bald man knew Xiao Tian had been duped. Just let me open the spatial layer, help you back to the meteor flame battlefield, and you'll undoubtedly meet your end. I'll wait to see you fall at the meteor flame battlefield. Xiao Tian believed this was a conspiracy against himself, and perhaps the Empress Domain would also be drawn into chaos. Soon the killers from the Martial Spirit Army would come in an endless stream to assassinate me, flip my table over while I'm enjoying my fragrant roasted meat, not caring about wasting food, just to kill me. While I'm enjoying the most peaceful moments of my life, someone suddenly appears and disturbs my personal time. Is my perfect freeloading life going to end just like this? All because I touched the mysterious Wealth Mountain region, so they won't even let me relieve myself in peace? Xiao Tian's self-imagined scenarios terrified himself to the point of kneeling and shouting, too horrifying, where is your meteor flame battlefield? Hurry up and take me there. 
Xiao Tian swiftly pulled the bald man in front of him, his expression anxious. I'd like to have a word with the big shots of your martial spirit army. The corner of the bald man's mouth twitched upward as he shook his head incessantly at Xiao Tian. Do you think I would do as you wish? Dream on. But internally he was constantly reminding himself. Now is not the time to laugh. If I laugh, the plan will be exposed. Hold it in. I must hold it in. If you won't lead the way, I'll find it just the same. Xiao Tian narrowed his eyes as he turned to Di Xin Lu and Hua Kai Tu. Carry on with your tasks. I'll be taking him with me. With that said, Xiao Tian, unable to wait any longer, took the bald man and left. The bald man's mouth corners subtly rose, aware that Xiao Tian had fallen for the trap. Hua Kai Tu, with his hands clasped behind his back, maintained his elegance. That blood surge clan guy seems to be deliberately leading the Lord astray. Di Xin Lu, carrying a manure bucket, preparing to spread fertilizer, spoke. Judging by the outcome, he wants to lure the Lord to that meteor flame battlefield. The green flame breeding farm is expanding rapidly, and the cultivation of the flower god trees everywhere needs hands. This trip should bring Lord Xiao back with many sinners. Di Xin Lu, your third squad can take this on. Di Xin Lu walked away solidly, his gaze firm, his words drifting from the direction he left. This also signifies that the first and second squads will soon be left far behind by me. When the time comes, I will show them what true repentance, what true atonement should look like. Their hearts are not sincere enough. Hearing this, Wakeda's eyebrows also fluttered slightly. Lord Zhao's justice transformation is simply too terrifying. These warriors from the battlefield, some of them executioners with hands stained with blood, are not just turning over a new leaf. They are becoming incarnations of justice and beacons of kindness. In the darkness of the void, Xiao Tian quickly returned with Shua Rui to the area where they had initially met. Puppy, help me see how this guy got here. I need to go there. Okay, please wait. Locating the meteor flame battlefield coordinates. Coordinates found. Hearing the system's response, Xiao Tian scoffed as he looked at the bald man. The coordinates of your meteor flame battlefield have been located by me. Meanwhile, above the meteor flame battlefield, a steamed purple emperor was panting heavily, clutching the human emperor's seal, his body covered in blood. This guy's body is unnaturally tough. Luo Tao Tian, on the other hand, wasn't gasping for air, his body still full of demonic energy, though his complexion was poor. If it weren't for the problems with my body, I would have taken him down long ago. When he was fighting, his cultivation level suddenly increased. The sudden enhancement was unexpected, but also a pleasant surprise for Luo Tao Tian. Despite not knowing why, it was only better for him the stronger he became at this moment. But Luo Tao Tian never anticipated that his strength, while enhancing nicely, would get stuck halfway through, an intense feeling of disappointment that made him want to spit blood. Zhang Keiji, floating in midair opposite, spat out a cloud of blood and twisted his neck. Your strength is a lot weaker than I imagined. Back when Pioneer Battle City exploded and you miraculously survived, I guessed you had hidden your combat power and allowed yourself to be captured on purpose, finding an opportunity to destroy this important city. Honestly, your strength is a disappointment. You're just a lucky guy. If it weren't for this human brother of yours joining forces with you, you would have died long ago. Zhang Keiji's voice was loud, seemingly to humiliate and provoke Luo Tao Tian, intending to make him angry and lose his cool. However, unfortunately for him, Luo Tao Tian did not take the bait. Luo Tao Tian snorted coldly and laughed out loud as well. Back in Pioneer Battle City, it indeed wasn't my own strength that allowed me to escape, and I have an even stronger human brother. It was you who effortlessly killed Zhang Buki and shattered Pioneer Battle City. If it weren't for my human brother worrying about his wife back home and hurrying to return, he would have annihilated all of you demons long ago. As Luo Tao Tian spoke, he was extremely proud and arrogant, and he turned his head to look at a steamed purple emperor. It's just right to tell you, we have a new brother, remember his name. Upon hearing these words, a steamed purple emperor's complexion changed drastically as he hastily waved his hands and tried to interject. Big brother, hold on a moment before you speak. However, Luo Tao Tian, caught up in his enthusiasm, had already begun to shout, Our brother, he is the supreme benevolent king of hell deity Xiao Tian. Little brother Z, remember this name, he is our new third-ranked brother. A steamed purple emperor was dumbfounded on the spot, realizing that they were thoroughly doomed. Now, he had no idea how to explain to his two children that they had gone and sworn brotherhood with their own son-in-law. Beside him, Luo Feng Yuan was so shocked that her jaw almost dropped. She felt as if her brain had crashed in that instant. Supreme Benevolent, Supreme Benevolent King of Hell Deity, Xiao, Xiao Tian, Luo Feng Yuan stuttered, her expression dazed as she turned to look at her mother. Dad became sworn brothers with him. No ceremony was held, just an oral agreement to become sworn brothers. Wu Xinxu sighed, your father just likes making friends, so. But before she could finish her sentence, Luo Feng Yuan fled from the scene at breakneck speed, leaving Wu Xinxu somewhat dumbfounded, not understanding what had gotten into her daughter. After hearing the name Supreme Benevolent King of Hell Deity Xiao Tian, Luo Feng Yuan started acting abnormally. She became wildly agitated, running frantically while praying internally. As long as I run fast enough, Zi Bun won't have a chance to mock me. But the more she thought about the time she had mocked Zi Ruoyan, and now the tables had turned, with her as the subject of mockery, Luo Feng Yuan's rage intensified.
intensified. She couldn't even bear to imagine such a scene. Did I say something wrong? What's with this child? Watching Luo Feng Yuan howling and rampaging, Wu Xingxu was quite puzzled. Then, Zi Ruoyan's voice emerged. You didn't say anything wrong. Aunt Wu, she's just using this as a way to ease the embarrassment. But the next moment, Zi Ruoyan suddenly exclaimed loudly, Holy Demon Empress, congratulations are in order. You now have an Uncle Xiao. Hearing this, Luo Feng Yuan, who was already on the edge, became even more frenzied, letting out a furious roar. Almost losing her sanity, she charged with a black scythe, screaming, Die, all of you. Meanwhile, Bai Qing glanced at Zi Ruoyan, who had adopted an innocent expression, and remarked, Empress Zi, you sure do hold a grudge. Look how you've riled up Empress Luo. At this time, Luo Taotian was somewhat perplexed and asked the steamed purple emperor, Little Brother Zi, why that expression? You don't seem very happy. Upon hearing this, a steamed purple emperor became somewhat dazed. He also didn't know how to explain that his brother was actually his son-in-law. If it were to be said out loud, and then you asked me, how did you know? Wouldn't that reveal that? I had also sworn brotherhood with my son-in-law. Just thinking about it was embarrassing. Just then, a trembling sound suddenly came from the distance. Everyone turned to look and saw Zhang Keiji, his body wreathed in flames, leaping into the air. He showed a resigned smile and shook his head. You are very strong, forcing me to resort to such despicable means to erase you. The blood crystal is our martial spirit army's last resort. With a mere squeeze, everyone present will undoubtedly die. So, let us all be buried here together. Upon hearing these words, everyone's faces changed dramatically. Having fought in the meteor flame battlefield for years, Luo Taotian was very familiar with the blood crystal. Despite its small size, the energy it released upon detonation was immense. Simultaneously, Xiao Tian, who had arrived at the meteor flame battlefield, suddenly sensed the fluctuations of power above. He looked up and saw Shang Keiji holding the blood crystal, ready to detonate it. Xiao Tian was immediately alarmed. It's a trap after all, a series of connected schemes, to lure me into this place. Then detonate the blood crystal. Puppy, what will happen if the blood crystal explodes? My esteemed master, once it explodes, you will need a long time to find your way back home through the chaos rift. It will be very tough and tiring for you. This cannot be. Xiao Tian immediately panicked. The fact that the system puppy mentioned words like tiring and tough indicated how terrible the consequences of the explosion could be. In anger, Xiao Tian gritted his teeth and angrily slammed his bald head onto the ground. Damn it, you and your complex schemes. I'll settle the score with you later. In the air, Zhang Keiji sneered as he looked at a steamed purple emperor and Luo Tao Yan from afar. When the blood crystal completely explodes, we can all die here together. As soon as the words fell, Xiao Tian suddenly appeared in front of Zhang Keiji. Without giving him a chance to react, he was slapped away. Fuck, whose commander is this? So brave and fierce? Xiao Tian was livid. Didn't your mother ever teach you not to play with fire recklessly? As Zhang Keiji stabilized his figure, he realized that, appearing out of nowhere in front of him, was a man wearing a ghost mask and a royal cloak. It's as if heaven is helping me. This ignorant fool dares to hold the nearly exploding blood crystal with his bare hands. He will surely die once it detonates. But the next second, his smile froze as he saw Xiao Tian remove the mask, open his mouth, and grab the blood crystal, swallowing it whole. A terrifying explosion sounded from within Xiao Tian's belly, and just when everyone thought they were done for, Xiao Tian did not burst as they had imagined, which scared the Blood Rune clan witless. They couldn't believe they were still alive. Xiao Tian, belching, couldn't help but give Zhang Keiji, who was in front of him, a thumbs up. Not bad. Pretty strong. Zhang Keiji was so shocked that his jaw could have dropped. Beads of sweat the size of beans, starting to seep from his forehead and slide down his cheeks. One thought crossed his mind. The slap I just received. He must have held back. Otherwise my head would have been gone. What kind of monster is this? That's a blood crystal. Suddenly Zhang Keiji saw Shuarui not far away, his jaw nearly dropping. Fuck, how did Lord Shuarui come back? Could it be that he was caught by this guy when he infiltrated Hidden Spirit and brought back? At that moment, Xiao Tian's muffled voice came from beneath the ghost mask. Blood Rune Clan, your strength seems quite good. Unfortunately, your plan. But before Xiao Tian could finish, a cheerful shout came from behind. Xiao brother, you're finally here. Hearing this, Xiao Tian swiftly turned around and involuntarily blurted out, Fuck, this is my father-in-law. Oh my god, my big father-in-law is here too. At this time, esteemed purple emperor was also awkwardly covering his face, muttering quietly, hoping to be unseen. Suddenly, he remembered he was using someone else's face. What am I afraid of? When Xiao Tian saw Zi Ruoyan, Luo Feng Yuan, and Bai Qing behind them, the corners of his mouth twitched involuntarily beneath his ghost mask, and his hand trembled uncontrollably. This was utterly a disaster. The situation couldn't be more awkward. You baldy dared to deceive me. This isn't any advanced meteor flame battlefield. Damn it, this is clearly the meteor flame battlefield all right, and now it has become my battleground of doom. At this point, Luo Feng Yuan was also getting anxious and quickly asked Zi Ruoyan what to do. Zi Ruoyan, however, expressed that there was nothing she could do. Luo Feng Yuan continued to press on, but brother Xiao is your husband, your lord, you're married to him, you can't just ignore him. With these words, Zi Ruoyan's response was loaded with meaning, as she pointed out, he is also your husband, isn't he?
he. In her urgency, Luo Feng Yuan didn't conceal her voice, but we aren't married yet, causing everyone around to hear. Wu Xinxiu turned sharply at hearing her daughter's reference. Her expression could only be described as panic-stricken. Her daughter calls Xiao Tian brother Xiao. Her niece calls him Lord Husband. And more outrageous is that her own husband actually calls her brother Xiao. What exactly is their complicated relationship? In this extremely bizarre atmosphere, Luo Tao Yan, up ahead, was still oblivious, still high-spirited and laughing as he waved his hands. Ladies and gentlemen, look over here. This is the supreme benevolent king of hell deity. Luo Tao Yan didn't get to finish, as he was abruptly silenced by the esteemed purple emperor covering his mouth. Luo Tao Yan, turning his head in astonishment, looked at the esteemed purple emperor, completely puzzled by his actions. The fear was evident in the eyes of the esteemed purple emperor. Luo brother, trust me, you must stop shouting, otherwise, you will regret it. If you continue, it will be shameful for me too. We'll all be doomed. Hearing this, Luo Tao Yan was dumbfounded. What the fuck? What is this situation? The esteemed purple emperor then pretended to laugh loudly. Luo brother, you've got the wrong person. Ha ha ha. This is the heaven honored from Yan Luo town in the Xi mountain range. Zhou Shintong. Ha ha ha. Brother, you must have been dazed from fighting too much recently, mistaking the person who saved you and helped you. Upon hearing this, Luo Tao Yan wanted to object, but his muffled protests were ineffective with his mouth covered. What exactly is this esteemed purple brother doing? Why won't he allow me to recognize my brother in front? Has he changed? Has my brother become jealous? Thinking that if I got a new brother, I would neglect the esteemed purple emperor of the past. That's not it at all. Seeing Luo Tao Yan still struggling, the esteemed purple emperor, in a hushed tone, tried to explain the situation to his dear big brother. Stop struggling, big brother. This rascal is my daughter's husband, and the man your daughter has set her sights on. In other words, this guy is also your son-in-law, practically your own son. You're about to become sworn brothers with your son, big brother. What a mess. And you want to shout it out for all to know? Initially determined to struggle, Luo Tao Yin's body went completely rigid, as if frozen, the voice of the esteemed purple emperor echoing in his ears, his pupils shrinking in disbelief as he looked at the back of the supreme benevolent king of hell deity, Xiao Tian, my good brother, my new third brother, my lifesaver, so it turns out to be the man beloved by my own precious daughter, her husband, Luo Tao Yan cursed at Xiao Tian, fuck you, the esteemed purple emperor hurriedly embraced his big brother, calm down, big brother, calm down, what a calamity, at this moment, Xiao Tian, with his back turned to the crowd, remained silent, clenching his hands as he stared ahead at the blood wound clan, brilliant, your schemes are much more sophisticated than I thought, knowing you can't defeat me, you stir up internal strife in my family, forcing me to leave my father-in-law's side in shame and flee far away. A clever stratagem indeed. Attacking the mind is the greatest tactic. The next second, a fruit appeared in Xiao Tian's hand. If that's the case, I will let you know. Even without stratagems, you can't defeat me. He suddenly reached out, forcing the fruit from the flower god's offspring tree into Zhang Keiji's mouth. Immediately after, a terrifying force exploded within Zhang Keiji's body. The extreme potency of the flower god's offspring tree fruit took effect instantly, healing Zhang Keiji's injuries completely and restoring him to his peak condition. What are you doing? Nothing much. It's just that if I don't heal you completely to your peak condition, I'm afraid I might accidentally kill you. Xiao Tian clenched his fists tightly, thinking to himself that even if he controlled his strength to one ten thousandth of its full force, it would still be a bit much for you. In the midst of speaking, Xiao Tian suddenly appeared above and to the side of Zhang Keiji, and with a spinning motion of his entire body, a ferocious kick whipped out. Zhang Keiji was sent flying, his body whistling sharply through the air, before crashing down onto the ground with a thunderous impact. Suddenly, before Zhang Keiji could recover, Xiao Tian's figure had already appeared before him. Almost reflexively, he reached out his hand, clenching his fist and hurling it upwards. Zhang Keiji's first reaction was to freeze, surprised that his punch had actually hit the target. But the next second, intense pain struck him, accompanied by the sound of breaking bones. Zhang Keiji was acutely aware that as his fist struck, his bones shattered. He had aimed for his opponent's head, a critical point, yet it was his own fist that was broken. Xiao Tian looked at Zhang Keiji before him and said, My turn now. With just a gentle kick, Zhang Keiji was sent flying dozens of meters away, slamming into the city wall. The martial spirit army, witnessing the scene, trembled all over, their fighting spirit gradually dissipating. For them, the impact was just too great. Without any display of spiritual energy fluctuations, Zhang Keiji was just like that, rendered powerless to resist by a human. On the other hand, Luo Tao Yan, who had recovered his composure from behind, watched this scene from a distance, and could not help but admire. I have to say, Xiao, cough, this young man is very strong indeed. The esteemed purple emperor was also looking into the distance, appraising aloud. I got some understanding of him back in the mysterious Wealth Mountain area, but this is the first time I have seen his strength with my own eyes, and he's even stronger than I imagined. Worthy of the man my daughter chose as her husband. They are married, legitimate husband and wife. You, at most, are nominal. Luo Tao Yan immediately felt annoyed. What do you mean nominal? Say that one more time. I dare you. The esteemed purple emperor, unyielding as well, retorted, Big brother, even though I am the younger one, don't
don't be unreasonable. I'm being unreasonable, esteemed Purple Emperor. It seems that you've forgotten the proper respect for seniority during the time we've been apart. Luo Tao Yin, you talk about respecting elders and betters? As the older one, shouldn't you be more indulgent towards me instead of talking nonsense here? In the next second, both erupted with their powerful auras. It's been a long time since we've sparred, right? Come on, you think it's still the old days when I couldn't beat you? The outcome was that a battle between the two emperors, the old guard version, was now unfolding. The two girls stared blankly at everything unfolding, wondering, why did the two of them start fighting? Bai Qing spoke softly, like father, like daughter. This saying really hits the mark. With Xiao Tian's arrival, the battle on the meteor flame battlefield came to an abrupt end. At this moment, in the grand hall at the very center of the palace complex, everyone was gathered together, yet no one spoke a word. Xiao Tian looked towards Luo Tao Yin. Someone say something, just staring like this. It's too awkward. Luo Tao Yin chose to ignore him directly. Don't look at me. When I acknowledged him as my third brother, no one told me he was my son-in-law. Just then, Z Royan's voice suddenly rang out. When did you visit the meteor flame battlefield? Why didn't I know about this? Hearing this, everyone let out a sigh of relief, thankful that someone had finally broken the awkward silence. Xiao Tian looked towards Z Royan with eyes full of admiration. Worthy of you, your majesty. Love you, heart to heart. He then explained, clearing his throat. At first, when the Blood Rune clan sneaked into the Holy Demon Realm, I took Xiong Yang Ming and Wang Chiu Dao to check it out. We heard them talking about using Luo Feng Yuan's blood to create some sort of space teleportation array. At these words, Luo Feng Yuan's expression became perplexed. My blood can be used to create a space teleportation array? Xiao Tian nodded. According to them, the blood of you supreme holy demons is special. It can be used to open the gates of war, linking the war gate on the meteor flame battlefield, the martial spirit army's rear, and the war gate and the holy demon realm together. This would allow the martial spirit army to continuously deploy troops and conquer the 124 realms of the void. Upon hearing this, Luo Tao Yen also felt a chill. The martial spirit army scheme is truly terrifying, planning to use my blood to create such a space passage. If it weren't for my son-in-law's cautious interference with the martial spirit army's plan, the consequences would have been unimaginable once they completed the passage. After saying this, Luo Tao Yen saw Xiao Tian looking at him expressionlessly. He turned his head away, pursing his lips. The only regret is that a slight misunderstanding occurred. At this time, Z Ruoyan spoke again. Lord Xiao, are you alright physically? Luo Feng Yuan also came to her senses. Right, the battle was so intense just now. Didn't you use some secret technique again, causing damage somewhere? In their memory, for Xiao Tian to unleash such terrifying combat power, he would need to use a secret technique, which harms his own body. Xiao Tian raised his arm and began to explain, my body is so much better now. The secret technique from my hometown gives me greater strength every time I push my body to its limits. And besides, being able to fight alongside you in battle, to engage the enemy head on, I would burn myself out without a second thought, if it meant making things easier for you, to spare you from fatigue. After speaking, Xiao Tian coughed lightly twice. The two women immediately grew concerned. Zi Ruoyan quickly grabbed Xiao Tian's hand. Lord Xiao, you needn't push yourself so hard in the future. I've said that I want you to live without worries, and I will make sure of it. Luo Feng Yuan also wrapped her arms around Xiao Tian's. Our strength is increasing rapidly. In this life, we've got you covered. Never again will we let you charge into the fray and into danger. After speaking, Luo Feng Yuan gently caressed Xiao Tian's cheek. Her tone soft. From now on, you just need to focus on eating and drinking well. Xiao Tian looked affectionately at Luo Feng Yuan and nodded in agreement. Witnessing this scene, both fathers-in-law and the mother-in-law felt very complicated inside. Is this the same Xiao Tian who just made Zhang Keiji spit blood in a fight? What's with this coy, blushing bride demeanor? Zi Ruoyan, Luo Feng Yuan, what's with this overwhelming protective instinct of yours? But no matter how you looked at it, shouldn't Xiao Tian be the stronger one? Esteemed Purple Emperor sighed. There's a saying that goes well. You may have the wrong name, but nicknames never lie. He looked towards Shui Ruoyan. Do you remember this kid's nickname in the Holy Demon Realm? Shui Ruoyan found it somewhat difficult to speak. Of course, I remember. Supreme Benevolent Sugar Baby Deity, right? Xiao Tian also noticed everyone's mood and coughed lightly again, his expression serious as he addressed the crowd. Now we should discuss the arrangements for the surrender of the Martial Spirit Army. A week later, Xiao Tian was walking down the street deep in thought. The relationship now awkwardly revealed. He felt terribly embarrassed. How could it be such a coincidence? While he was pondering, Zi Ruoyan and Luo Feng Yuan had somehow arrived at his side. How did you come to follow me? Zi Ruoyan stretched lazily and spoke softly. There wasn't much for me to deal with. The trivial matters can be handled by our fathers. I thought I'd come and walk with you. Luo Feng Yuan, standing beside him, patted Xiao Tian's shoulder. My good-for-nothing old man loves to make friends. That's his business. It has nothing to do with you. Don't overthink it. Xiao Tian was stunned for a moment, then smiled and nodded silently. From the beginning, Zi Ruoyan had always been concerned about him, not caring about other matters, just worried whether he was in good health and living well. Luo Feng Yuan, this silly girl, wasn't as thoughtful as Zi Ruoyan, just simply and purely believing in one thing. 
staying by Xiao Tian's side was enough for her. So, the three of them walked on the streets of Flame City. Xiao Tian looked around and remarked, Come to think of it, the architectural style of this Flame City is exactly the same as ours, isn't it? Zi Ruoyan also noticed, Indeed, logically, the building style of their three bloodlines should be different from ours, but this street looks like an exact replica. Luo Feng Yuan joined in the discussion. Do you think it's possible that Flame City was built by our people? Like, maybe by the Great Flame Emperor of the past era? As Zi Ruoyan spoke, she looked ahead. It's possible. Flame City used to be the first line of defense in this meteor flame battlefield. Before they knew it, they had already arrived at the boundary. Unable to contain her curiosity, Luo Feng Yuan blurted out, What do you think lies beyond the boundary? No one knows. Just then, Zi Ruoyan suddenly noticed a figure standing in front of the barrier. She quickly turned her head to look beside her, only to realize that, at some point, Xiao Tian had disappeared without a trace. When did he go over there? Exclaiming, Zi Ruoyan hurried forward. Lord Xiao, stay away from the boundary. Luo Feng Yuan also rushed over anxiously. Zi Ban, wait for me. Sensing the commotion behind him, Xiao Tian turned his head and told the two, I'm just taking a look. Don't do anything dangerous. Zi Ruoyan took a deep breath and reached out to grab Xiao Tian. But, as fate would have it, Xiao Tian was just extending his hand, poking at the boundary in front of him. The next second, a sudden force of suction swept over him. Yet, Xiao Tian, solid as an old tree, didn't budge. And next to him, Zi Ruoyan was also unaffected. However, Luo Feng Yuan, who had come rushing over, found herself caught in an unexpected whirlwind. What's happening? This tornado is sucking me in. Zi Ruoyan quickly grabbed Luo Feng Yuan's hand. Luo Kao, hold on to me. Xiao Tian's expression changed, and he hurriedly followed. The next second, the three of them vanished right before the boundary of the barrier. At that moment, Zi Ruoyan and Luo Feng Yuan both released their oppressive auras, enveloping all three of them. Did we really just come out like this? Luo Feng Yuan observed their surroundings. Yeah, and it's exactly like the void outside the meteor flame battlefield, except that there's no one guarding this boundary. It was then Xiao Tian murmured, this place is different from the void outside the meteor flame battlefield. Here, the force of the void is dominated by fury, making up 90%, while gentleness only accounts for 10%. Hearing this, Luo Feng Yuan was somewhat puzzled. Fury, gentleness, what does that mean? Xiao Tian spread his hands. I can feel two distinct forces in the energy of the heavens and earth, one furious and the other gentle. Zi Ruoyan and Luo Feng Yuan looked at Xiao Tian in amazement. Lord Xiao can sense all that? Impressive. At that moment, an abrupt booming sound echoed through the dark void, and with the rise of this great disturbance, the already violent void streams around them swelled at a speed visible to the naked eye. Moreover, these ferocious streams were violently rushing towards their direction, as if to blow them even further away. Zi Ruoyan's expression changed drastically. We need to hurry and find a way back, or who knows where we'll end up. This is too dangerous. Then, the three of them were immediately swept away by the violent void streams towards the distance. Zi Ruoyan and Luo Feng Yuan quickly released their oppressive auras again, covering all three of them and barely stabilizing their forms. The void streams around them, inherently wild, swelled in power at a pace visible to the naked eye. Luo Feng Yuan shouted resolutely, I refuse to believe that there's a situation my holy demon clan can't handle. As she spoke, she fully ignited the holy demon flames, but it didn't take long before the holy demon flames were extinguished by the void streams. Luo Feng Yuan suffered a backlash, spitting out a mouthful of blood. Zi Ruoyan asked with concern, Are you alright? Luo Feng Yuan wiped the corner of her mouth. I'm okay, no big deal, but the streams are getting stronger. How are we going to get back? Hearing this, Xiao Tian sighed helplessly. One has to spoil one's own wife, and then, both women felt a hand lay upon their waists. As they turned to ask him something, the next second an invisible force field suddenly formed, and the ferocious void streams around them seemed to disappear, creating a calm within a small perimeter. Zi Ruoyan was the first to react. She turned her head to look at Xiao Tian, who was close at hand. Sure enough, Lord Xiao, it's not just about breaking physical limits, right? Xiao Tian gave an embarrassed laugh. Just broke through a little bit more than that, just a tiny bit. Having his little secrets and thoughts caught on the spot made him somewhat embarrassed. Big brother Xiao, how did you do this? Luo Feng Yuan, on the other hand, looked around in wonder. Why do I still not feel any fluctuations of spiritual energy? Maybe this is a special ability of Lord Xiao. Perhaps it's related to his ability to take away the entire Great Flame Empire and integrate it into the Holy Demon Domain. Zi Ruoyan spoke slowly, looking at Xiao Tian, and, for instance, the sudden appearance of unfamiliar lands in the Holy Demon Domain. Speaking of which, Zi Ruoyan winked at Xiao Tian, as if she had everything under control. As their gazes met, Xiao Tian looked very embarrassed. He coughed lightly. Why didn't you ask me before? Zi Ruoyan stretched out her hand to touch Xiao Tian's cheek. Why ask? I don't care how powerful you are, or what special abilities you have. I just like to see you laugh heartily, to share the amusing stories when you're with the common folk. I like it when you hold Xiao Yuer, that silly girl, and sleep soundly with me in the imperial study. I like it when you go to find Uncle Zhong, planning to cook some delicious food together, and share those moments with me. The carefree, happy-go-lucky Lord Xiao, that's the best for
from me. Xiao Tian stood in the void, silent for a long time. In that moment, he felt a ray of light penetrating the darkness of his heart. Damn it, the Empress has stopped teasing him. She started to seize his heart by force, absolutely domineering. In that moment, there was only one thought in his heart. So what if I'm a kept man? Xiao Tian straightened his back and answered with righteous fervor. This life of ease, I will savor it for a lifetime. At this moment, Luo Feng Yuan directly clung to Xiao Tian's arm, her eyes shining, staring at him with admiration. I like you the most, brother Xiao. Every time I make a fuss, you indulge me. Of course, what I like most is when you discipline me. Don't worry, brother Xiao. I will definitely do better than Zi Bun in the future. After all, I have a huge advantage. Zi Ruoyan promptly gave her a knock on the head. Luo Feng Yuan, covering her forehead, protested. What are you doing? Zi Ruoyan crossed her arms and looked disdainful. In front of me, you'll always be the little sister. A huge advantage. Humph. Luo Feng Yuan's spirit surged as she retorted. Can't you see whether it's large or not? And why are you the sister anyway? Zi Ruoyan looked sideways with a meaningful O. You want to be my elder sister? I advise you to think carefully before you answer that question. Faced with Zi Ruoyan's oppression, Luo Feng Yuan stopped arguing, bit her lip, and looked away, humming to express her discontent. Xiao Tian stood there, stunned. What's going on? Are they playing riddles? Never mind. That's not important. I need to think. Will eating two bowls of soft rice be too much? After all, a person of merit really can't hide their light under a bushel. Well, aside from having a bit too many good wives, there's not much to complain about. I'll pick a top quality green flame pig later. I want to cook personally to reward my two perfect wives. Just then, Luo Feng Yuan suddenly looked up. What is that? In the void, there was a large seal slowly rotating, and it was showing cracked patterns on its surface. The chaotic streams of the dark void around them were agitated precisely because of the cracks appearing on the seal, indicating signs of collapse. Luo Feng Yuan suddenly spoke. What in the world is that? Could it be that if this thing explodes, we won't be able to return? Zi Ruoyan furrowed her brows, giving Luo Feng Yuan a strange look. What kind of logic is that? The seal explodes, and it has something to do with our return? I'm making an educated guess. The seal is part of the world barrier, and the reason why it's unguarded is that the martial spirit army knows that even if enemies manage to come in, they can't leave alive, waiting for the seal to explode. Do you think the seal could reconstitute part of the world barrier, making this world's defenses even stronger? As soon as Luo Feng Yuan finished speaking, the seal suddenly emitted a shattering sound. Following this, the seal exploded completely completely. At the moment the seal burst, spatial fluctuations surged out, and the fragments of the exploding seal instantly streaked through the dark void, merging into the world barrier ahead. The entrance that seemed fragile vanished in an instant, replaced by a very intact and incredibly solid world barrier. Zi Ruoyan was silent for a long time, then turned to look at Luo Feng Yuan. I don't know whether to say your brain had a moment of brilliance, or if your mouth was just touched by fortune. Luo Feng Yuan's face was full of surprise, pointing ahead and shouting, This is amazing. How did they achieve this? Clearly, this must be a contingency plan set by the martial spirit army. Once an enemy intrudes, this seal would explode and fill the boundary passage, right? Zi Ruoyan looked at Luo Feng Yuan with an odd expression. Why can't you understand such a simple matter? How come your intelligence seems to fluctuate so much? Luo Feng Yuan was quite dissatisfied, showing her teeth in a grimace at Zi Ruoyan and stood up straight. Wasn't it you who said the nutrition went to the wrong place? Zi Ruoyan's mouth twitched slightly, watching Luo Feng Yuan's actions. She couldn't help but clench her hand. This Luo Kao really is quite proud, isn't she? Xiao Tian was quietly watching the two women argue, when suddenly, he spoke up to stop them. Let's think about how to get back instead. Upon hearing this, Luo Feng Yuan's face lit up with excitement. Fight our way through, never stopping in battle. As long as the three of us fight side by side, we will surely carve out our own sky. The next second, Zi Ruoyan delivered a karate chop to Luo Feng Yuan's head. What are you babbling about? Who wants to go on a killing spree in this unfamiliar place with you? You're the holy demon empress. Have you given up on managing the primordial demon kingdom? What about all the people you're abandoning. Rubbing her head, Luo Feng Yuan looked at Xiao Tian with a cheerful gaze, relishing this long-missed feeling, and said, Well, my dad is there, isn't he? Let him handle it. Xiao Tian flatly refused. No way, you are the demon empress. It's not right to leave your father to manage the people. Saying this, he embraced the two empresses. This place is dark and nothing's here. Better to hurry home. Zi Ruoyan looked at Xiao Tian somewhat perplexed, but the entrance to the boundary has already disappeared, with such a vast and sturdy world barrier. How can we get back? At this moment, on the other side, at the meteor flame battlefield. The two guards were in utter chaos. It's over. We accidentally let the prince and the two empresses get teleported away. What do we do? Quick, get his majesty to help. He's already been called. At this time, the world barrier was glowing with a pale white light, looking very firm and stable, like a light wall emitting a soft glow. Luo Taoyan's form was the first to arrive. In front of the boundary, as soon as Luo Taoyan landed and appeared, his expression changed, and he quickly rushed towards the front. Where is the boundary passage to enter and exit the meteor flame battlefield? Luo Taoyan looking at the intact barrier in front of him, couldn't help but exclaim in surprise. Beside him, the esteemed purple emperor, who appeared shortly after, quickly turned to the guard 
standing by. What happened? Did you report that Zi Ruan and the other two crossed the boundary? Yes. The guard saluted the esteemed Purple Emperor and quickly explained the situation earlier. The husband of Zi Empress, that is, the Great Flame Prince, was curiously observing the boundary. Zi Empress and Luo Empress, worried about the prince, approached it, and suddenly a pulling force emanated from the World Barrier's passage. This force swept away Luo Empress. Zi Empress tried to pull her back, but ended up being dragged along with her. The prince hurried after them, but not long after they crossed, a huge commotion occurred on the other side, and the world barrier turned into what it is now. After listening to the guard, esteemed purple emperor furrowed his brows. Such a thing happened? Could it be that there were ambush troops on the other side, and they sealed the boundary passage upon seeing Zi Ruoyan and the others cross? Luo Taotian shook his head with a solemn expression. How could that be possible? If the boundary passage could be sealed so easily, why would there be a need to defend the meteor flame battlefield? Why not just seal the entrance and exit of the meteor flame battlefield? While speaking, Luo Taotian's fists suddenly gathered the purple holy demon flames, and he hurled a punch fiercely. The deafening boom instantaneously resounded as the purple holy demon flames spread out and dissipated in the surroundings. The world barrier in front of them didn't budge, impossible to be shaken. We must hurry to find a spatial node, or a crack, to find a way to get through to find them, urged Wu Xinxiu from the side. Luo Taotian sighed, no use. It would take a lot of time and manpower, and we might not even find one. A steamed purple emperor came up to Luo Taotian, patted his sworn brother's shoulder and said, Brother, don't worry about the consumption for now. Start searching while we think of other solutions. That's all we can do. During their conversation, Shuarian inadvertently glanced over and suddenly noticed something strange on the world barrier. She pointed at the world screen in front of them. Just now, the spot that Luo brother hit seemed to ripple. Take a look. Am I seeing things? On the world barrier, a pair of hands came through and suddenly tore it apart to both sides. Chilla. A crisp tearing sound instantly filled the air. A large gap was forcefully wrenched open by that pair of hands. Everyone present exclaimed, Holy shit. They were incredibly shocked. Their worldview shattered. Then, Xiao Tian's figure slowly emerged. Okay, you all can come over now. Just like this, Xiao Tian landed in a very cool pose, under the astonished gazes of everyone. It's nothing special over there. Luo Feng Yuan commented with a twist of his mouth, sounding somewhat disappointed. Pitch black. Not a single figure in sight. Don't always think about fighting. If it wasn't for Lord Xiao being so capable and having special abilities, we might not have been able to come back. As Zi Ruoyan was speaking, she turned around and saw pairs of eyes staring in their direction. The scene suddenly became quiet. Zi Ruoyan coughed twice. Ahem, ahem. So everyone's here. Ha! The next second, Shuarian and Wu Xinxiu hurried over, embracing their daughter tightly. You really are already an empress, and still causing such a ruckus? We haven't even celebrated our recent victory, and you've started this mischief. The two mothers held their daughter close in their arms. Luo Feng Yuan looked guiltily at Wu Xinxiu. Mother, I was just curious. Esteemed purple emperor was also losing his temper. What's so interesting beyond this world barrier? If by some chance you got trapped on the other side, what then? Have you thought about how worried we would be? Back from the other side, Xiao Tian looked at this scene in silence. This must be the affection parents have for their children, he thought. Suddenly, a scolding voice rang out. Xiao Tian glanced to the side to see esteemed purple emperor looking sternly at him. If you encountered an enemy's encirclement, even with your exceptional strength, it would be hard to escape quickly. You could easily be trapped to death in such unknown places. You should take good care of yourself. As esteemed purple emperor spoke, he took Xiao Tian's hand and examined it carefully before he relaxed. No injuries, that's good. Xiao Tian was somewhat taken aback, looking at esteemed purple emperor in front of him. Was he being scolded? This feeling was a bit strange to Xiao Tian. In the past, his foster father would also often scold him, filled with humiliation and belittlement. Though it was a reprimand, Xiao Tian felt that Zi Ruoyan's father gave him a very different feeling. On the surface, it was a rebuke, but in reality, it was concern for his safety. Ahem, brother Zi is right. We must take care of ourselves no matter the situation. Luo Taotian said as he came over and put his arm around Xiao Tian. Anyway, it's good that you're back, child. Yes, it's good that you're back. Esteemed purple emperor also nodded, hugging Xiao Tian from the other side. Xiao Tian stood there dazed, feeling emotions he had never felt before. The next moment, he relaxed and smiled, nodding silently. With me here, no one will get hurt, including myself. With the crisis over, esteemed purple emperor also relaxed quite a bit, his mouth curling up slightly in a teasing smile as he looked at Luo Taotian on the other side and started to tease. But, brother, didn't you call him young brother earlier? Why are you calling him child now? You really know how to stir the pot. Are we not going to get past this? Luo Taotian glared with a darkened face, clearly annoyed as he stared at a steamed purple emperor. Standing in the middle, Xiao Tian wore an embarrassed look. Why bring this up again? A steamed father in Wazi, Shuarian stared at her husband disapprovingly before speaking. All right, let's not talk about that anymore. Can't you see Xiao Tian is uncomfortable? A steamed purple emperor, under the stern gaze of Shuarian, immediately reined in and chuckled awkwardly. I was just joking to lighten the mood, wasn't I? Shuarian looked at Xiao Tian. Thank goodness you're
capable and managed to bring them back. Otherwise, the consequences would have been unimaginable. Wu Xinxiu also nodded gently, her words filled with emotion. Yes, that place before was the enemy's territory. If we had been stranded there, who knows what would have happened. Turning the conversation back, a steamed purple emperor suddenly looked at Xiao Tian and inquired. You used your own space-related divine power before, didn't you? He wore a look that seemed to say he had seen through Xiao Tian's secret. Divine power? Zi Ruoyan looked puzzled, glancing at her father. A steamed purple emperor nodded. It's a type of ability that requires awakening to acquire. Quite rare and not within the scope of normal cultivation. It usually awakens in extremely dangerous situations. For example, the Blood Surge clan relies on body cultivation and doesn't practice illusions, but they can gain some type of illusion skill through awakening. Hearing this, Zi Ruoyan had an epiphany, so that's how it is. No wonder Lord Xiao could easily merge the boundary worlds together and tear through the world barrier to bring us back. That must be the ability of his divine power. Luo Taotian also cautioned him. However, this divine power must be kept a secret. Otherwise, if outsiders find out, it could cause trouble. Xiao Tian, however, shook his head to refute. I haven't awakened any divine power. The matter of space may be related to my bloodline talents. I'm purely strong. That's all. A steamed purple emperor's eyes lit up, and he pointed at Xiao Tian. A teachable youth, little Xiao is quick to respond. That's the attitude to have. Acting as if one has no divine power. No, I really don't have divine power. I'm just extraordinarily strong. Xiao Tian insisted, shaking his head. Suddenly, with a clench of his fist, a cracking sound was heard. Space itself seemed to collapse under his bare hand, revealing a shattered rift, with spatial fluctuations dispersing. See, I'm just really strong. For a moment, everyone fell silent, quietly observing, as the collapsed and fractured spatial rift gradually healed. Luo Taotian shook his head. Naughty. A steamed purple emperor pointed at Xiao Tian and waggled his finger. Mischievous. Luo Taotian pointed towards the direction where space had healed. Isn't that space divine power right there? Looks mighty impressive. True to divine power, turning the impossible into possible. They say divine power doesn't fluctuate with spiritual energy. I've truly seen something new today. A steamed purple emperor also silently nodded, patted Xiao Tian on the shoulder. All right, as long as you know the truth, that's what matters. We still have things to attend to, and don't be late for the victory feast tonight. You're the hero of this battle. Xiao Tian looked astonished as a steamed purple emperor turned to leave, hurrying to muster his strength to prove himself. No, this really isn't divine power. Don't believe me? I can show you something else if you want. Just as Xiao Tian was about to make his move, Puppy appeared and stopped him. Master, if you release your power now, you might kill everyone. Xiao Tian's eyes widened, so I'm just going to be misunderstood like this? Don't be too anxious, kid. We, as your elders, will always stand before you. Before leaving, Luo Taotian gave Xiao Tian a hug. After the embrace, Luo Taotian stretched out his hand pointing at a baffled Xiao Tian, wearing a look of understanding. That's right, that expression. You don't have divine power. That feels spot on, beautiful. In a flash, he suddenly felt that this world was indeed very complicated.